quedar means to be in certain situations and it indicates place okay so that's that's quite quite easy right we're not talking about you know i am you are they are or similar to the verb estar it's similar but quedar is specifically used to indicate a place for example eso queda muy lejos eso queda muy lejos this means that's a long way away or that is far i think it's better to <laughs> to say that's far that's uh very far i think that's more common i don't know why i had that there sorry um eso queda muy lejos that's very far far away you know that's very far some something like it could be a place uh, it could be a building it could be an office it could be a house it doesn't matter you're just saying that something is very far very far very very far so let's break this down <clears throat> eso eso is a very common word that means it and sometimes well it can also mean that eso that sometimes it means it okay so it depends on the situation but that's uh those are the meanings of this word eso queda queda that means eso queda means that's or that is and we're talking about a place we're not saying that something is beautiful or or ugly or big or small no we're not talking about that we're talking about places so in this case we're talking about distance so distance places you can use the verb quedar for those situations muy lejos muy lejos muy lejos muy means very and lejos means far okay very far uh, muy can also mean so very two okay two with the double o okay so um, when you're talking about you know something that is very far uh, you can use muy very to so okay lejos lejos far so you can actually say you can replace this verb with estar eso está okay eso está muy lejos and that's uh, that's fine it makes sense uh, but some spanish speakers and most spanish speakers might say it like this eso queda muy lejos that's very far okay it, it's very helpful to use this verb if you're given directions um, you can use this verb for that or when you talk about distances but essentially you indicate a place okay you're talking about a place okay the next example is ¿Por dónde queda tu casa? ¿Por dónde queda tu casa? This is a question. And we can see the verb quedar already here. Right here. It's pretty much similar to this one. Queda, queda. Um, so when you talk about places, you usually will say queda, queda okay so most of the times you will say queda because you're talking about one place uh, that can be far close and so on or if you're giving a if you're giving directions well you're talking about one place if you're talking about <laughs> multiple places um, you could say quedan with an n but usually you will just say it queda you will use queda okay for this particular situation now what does this mean you know what casa mean means you know what it means it's a very 
basic Spanish word. This means, where's your house? Where's your house? You just want to know where's the house? You could be in front of the house. But this question is mostly when you have no idea where the place is. <laughs> and it could be pretty much the person will tell you an address. Okay. Por donde queda tu casa? Or the person can say a neighborhood, uh, a city, right? Or an address. So this question is very common. Por donde? Por donde? I mean, you don't need to say por. You can say donde queda tu casa, and that's fine. But this is commonly said por donde. So it's like asking casually, you know, where is roughly your home? <laughs> where is it, right? You don't want, you, you, you could be asking for an address or not. You could be just interested in the neighborhood or something more specific. So it's, it's a good question to ask when you are more casual about asking this. Por donde? Maybe your house is close to my house, so I, I would like to know. Por donde? Por donde means where, okay? Queda in this situation means to be, just like I said it here. So where is? Por donde queda? Where is? Tu, your, casa, house. Por donde queda tu casa? Where's your house? Okay, so, or where do you live? This is roughly also a uh, meaning of this question. Okay, so quedar, remember, quedar can mean to be, but when you're asking about a place or when you want to indicate a place or it's just roughly about a place, you know, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it.